So those of you that didn't watch last week's video, before you watch this one, go back, watch that one, because I might be drunk by the end of this one. We are here with <laughs> Mr. Wonderful, yes. Kevin O'Leary, with his wonderful wine. Yes, O'Leary Fine Wines, QVC.com, that's where you can get it. Cheers. Danny from Happy Jewelers. I, Are you drunk yet? That's about your fifth. This is my fifth one. I mean, this is the wine is amazing. Mm. It's just going down perfectly. Really. I mean, when it's good wine, you Absolutely. can't stop drinking. I've won five awards for the red, the Cabernet Sauvignon, and three, I think maybe four now for the Shard, which is an un-oak Shard, Montrachet style, very crisp, minerally. Nectar from the nipple of Aphrodite. He said that before in the I last know, video. So I told you off so that. true. <laughs> Aphrodite and I are very close. <laughs> Danny, what do you got in the box? I got some special pieces for you guys. Let me check this out. Ooh. Whoa! But I will do a one by one for you. I guys. see red. You see red? Uh, I did that special for you. I, I had a rumor that you like red. I, it's all I wear. It's I red on red on red. I did the best for last. Ooh, you know, what Danny, I want to know which of these are factory red and which are adapted red just to take care of me. Because I have to deal with this with all the makers now, because they know the only way I can wear a watch on Shark Tank is to have a red band. Okay. Can I explain something? Yeah, I was about to say continuity, the art director or whoever. Probably. 15 years ago. Yeah. Because I wear a black suit, white tie, or yeah. black tie, white shirt, red band, red poof. It always has to be red band. So imagine some of the watchmakers go, I don't do red bands. I say, well, I don't do your watch on Shark Tank. But they pick, <laughs> they pick on you because everybody else wears whatever the heck they want. Yes, but they're, you know. But you know, uh, I'm like Kevin, I love color. Yeah. If there's color in a watch, I go crazy over it. I think it look great. The other sharks are grasshoppers with watches. Yeah. <laughs> grasshoppers. They're learning from Mr. Wonderful. I mean, when you think luxury watches, you think of Kevin. Really, honestly, he's a very outspoken person, and I think he's and brought a lot I of life to I support all it. the brands, I support the great dials, but it's gotta be a red band. Yeah. So but Danny, the, you got red. I do. I see, I see it's, I got it's a overflowing with red. red. Yes. Everywhere's red. Do you want me to pull the factory straps out first? Yeah, yeah let's go do. factory red. Let's go factory okay. red, because that's becoming something. I think I actually helped start that. You did, you, did. you started a you trend. Did. Yeah, I started a trend. So you know what, I'll do a paddock first. Oh. This is a Patek Philippe 6119G Calatrava with the factory red so strap. So the transition, Patek, between sport and luxury dress watches. Yes. That's what this is. And fell out of favor during the steel yes. know, sports era. Now roaring back. Yes, 100%. That's a beautiful piece. It's a I mean, beautiful piece. What I love about the red is like, it almost kind of, I don't want to say makes it more casual, That's a, but you can wear it. factory red. Factory red. Yeah. You know what's funny is my client, because of you, ordered the red strap and waited six months for it to come in for this watch. You know, they've told me that the amount of people in North America asking for red bands, yeah. and I'm so proud that I've done that to them. How come you're not getting a royalty on that? I wall? should be. You right? should be. You should you be. Know, it's, I'm going to litigate. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk it. about the piece and the dial. How simple and beautiful is that? Oh, it's stunning. Stunning gray dial, 18 karat white gold case with the see-through case back. Okay, Danny, that, what's the retail? What's it selling for? The retail on this one is about 23500 and it's selling right about retail. It's about $25,000. That's a lot less than yeah, I, I thought I, it was yes. going to be. Yeah, and I must say something that I see in this piece, the highly polished look yes comes from the grand seiko vibe or vice versa i would say vice versa yeah yeah we don't want to offend paddock like I, that you okay know? sorry we about that their, we want to get their <laughs> just saying be careful, how, be careful. however the grand seiko grand... guy started in 1896 okay, polishing okay. so you know the thing is these this is really high art this yes. polish 100 percent. I mean, look at the gray dial on it i mean yeah, the, no, the it's, way it's that it's the beautiful. finish on it i mean, I mean that is a beautiful beautiful dress watch yeah that you pass down to your children in perpetuity right and what i like about the newer one that they did so the simple and elegant and beautiful yeah they made it oversized so it's a it's not What's big. the size of the dial the, it's a 40 millimeter okay so it's yeah. larger so it's going to actually look it on the wrist super thin very comfortable and, and thin and, and beautiful thin. yes beautiful that that is spectacular and that is a Factory red, Patek Philippe, yeah. a must have, I think, in a collection if you don't have anything like that. If all you've done is bought sport, this you're making is a mistake. Yeah, you're making a mistake. Yeah, you're making a mistake, yeah. 100%, I agree. Now the next one we're gonna do is gonna be a Panerai Super Limited Luna Rosa. With the factory all red, factory, right? Factory red. Factory red. I, 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 I recognize cool that, that I recognize that. Yeah. Look at the size of that monster, Yeah. look at that. That a, thing is like... That's a good looking watch. It is. It is stunning. Now that, that is the classic dive heritage, right? That's the classic dive heritage. They made it for the Luna Rosa, which is the yacht racing team. 
Yeah, with the classic clasp, yep. you know, and the, and the crown. All black casing with the beautiful, I mean, look at the texture of the dial. What, that they what is the material? Ceramic. Cera ceramic, so it's- Another a, one you gotta be careful yeah. with. Yeah. And that, you don't wanna drop that watch. No, you do not wanna drop that watch. We don't really wanna drop any watch. No, but I no, mean, right. ceramic, you're gonna take a chip out of it. Yeah, or destroy it completely. Yeah. Or destroy it. Yeah. That red is gorgeous, though. That's a real it's red. Like a That's blood a blood red. Like yeah. a God's almost, red. It, yeah. it's it's against God's the black, red. it pops. It yeah. pops. With the red I mean, second hand? And if you imagine that on a black, Band, it wouldn't make the dial pop as much no. as it does with the red. It really pulls the red out of the so, dial. Uh, pr sure. Daddy, price on that retail? This one, the retail is about, I want to say around twenty-two to twenty-three thousand, yeah. and the resale is about seventeen thousand. So this sale's going on there. So Panerai will sell under; they won't go over retail. So why why is that, Danny? Let's talk about that. I, I know that to be the case of Panerai. Why are they not supported in the aftermarket? You know what's crazy is about eight nine years ago. Panerai had a period of it, one to four years where they had like a Panerai. They call the sloppy period. Is that the sloppy period? Okay, yes. the sloppy period. Where Panerai's actually went crazy above retail. Before this whole craze of watches going over retail, Panerai's did go over retail. But just over the years, I mean, people, the, the Too much marketing. production? Too much production, the marketing, it's marketing. I mean, we don't like Rolex, you want to buy a Rolex, you can't. No, you can go to Panerai and you thing, can buy one. The thing one. is, I mean, we t Panerai is, I, I've got Panerai in my collection, but you have to, you know, we, we don't often talk about this, but when you're a collector, you don't like to see your pieces go below what you purchased them for. Yes, Panerai. That has been a problem for these guys in the last four years. Yes, but if you come to a guy like me with Panerai's, we can get you a small discount on them. So when you're buying them, I can get At about. At retail, you're getting a deal. Yeah. yeah. I can get about five to ten percent off. I really Some think models, everybody should off. have one in their collection because they are unique. They are. They're very unique. Submarine heritage. Yes. But you know, look, with Panerai's, so when you go into a store that's authorized by Paddock and they're authorized by Panerai, right? They'll say, "Hey, you want a Paddock, Paddock Nautilus? We'll give it to you, but you have to buy five Panerai's." Really? Yes. So you buy five Panerai's and then they'll give you the Nautilus. Secrets from the vault here. Yes. You don't have that issue because you're Mr. I, I don't have that issue. Yeah, but yeah. a normal guy that walks in, they'll make him buy certain items in order to get And potentially the say, buy five of these and then we'll put you on a list and then you wait another year. Yes. And then maybe you get it. Yeah. Right? Yep. Well, watch collecting is half art, half science. Yes. And that's why I always- It's also a little bit of the anticipation. Yeah. But, I, I, but you know, I, I have watches I've been waiting for for years and I wait my turn. Yes. You know, but I know they're coming, but it's a beautiful piece. It's got red affectations. The, the minute hand, the sweep is red, matching the band is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's a second in our hit parade on the reds. What yes. else you got? So the next one up is going to be an Omega Seamaster. What I love about this Talk watch is... Talk about a brand that is rocketed. Yeah, yes. right? Only yeah. recently, though. I, unbelievable what they're doing. Omega has always been hot. A lot of people don't realize that. This is Swatch Group. Yeah. yeah. But somehow they've kept the Omega brand out of the like low-end swatch brand. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. And a lot of people, like when you talk to ADs that are authorized for many brands, a lot of them will say Omega is the best brand that they carry because they can't keep the watches in stock. Because they're affordable, they're yes. entry level, they're beautiful, they have heritage, they got history. Stunning. That Snoopy was crazy, yeah. the James Bond that's coming is yeah. crazy. They make beautiful, I mean look at the watch, it's stainless no, no, it's, steel, it's spectacular. rose gold bezel, black. And they have the whole James Bond thing going. Right? I've been waiting Bond for a Snoopy for Three years, I still haven't got it. Yeah, yeah it's and you're insane what's happened. And now they have the James Bond. That's and that's factory, right? That's factory, right? Yeah, I know they've made this man. It's beautiful, stunning. I mean, you, yeah. like beautiful design. I love the rose gold on it. The contrast of the black with the rose, the rose numbers. So I mean, another entry level piece that no one should be ashamed of buying to start. No, because it's gorgeous. Yes, affordable, gorgeous. I want to say the retail is probably around like eight, nine thousand dollars for it. This is pre-owned. Box and paper is complete. You can pick it up at like sixty-seven hundred. But you know, you cannot go wrong with them. No. Why do you think that is that you can buy them under retail when they're so desirable? Well, A, this is pre-owned. Right. Two, there's ready available in stock. So when you walk into an Omega boutique, they're gonna have product there for you. And to you look can't at. get a discount so there, right? No. Would you rather buy let's say there's pre owned, mm -hmm. two th two grand off. Yeah. Or one in a box that's never been owned. What would you do? For me I would do pre owned. Really? Because why not let the other person take the hit for me? Yeah. While well, you buy it for two grand, but unless as you have long equity. as the pre-owned's authenticated yes. and has papers. Yes. I I'm always, telling I'm entry level people, there's nothing wrong with buying pre-owned. No. If you're buying it from a credible dealer. Yes, and I always tell people that too, right? You go to a credible dealer, even if they're 
five, six, seven percent, a little bit more expensive, you want to buy it from them because a credible dealer, A, opens up their watches, they check all the movements, they check all the parts. And the papers and the box. Everything. And, and there's one other thing that if in the event something is found out with the watch, the dealer will take it back and make it right. Sure, because right. they don't want to be tainted. They don't right. want to be tainted. And yeah. they back up their product. Yeah. That's right? what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, so here we have three in factory reds, burgundy, bright Pantone red, very subtle, beautiful with this sort of aerated yeah. look to it. I mean, I love Omega. And my first watch was, was a you know, Speedmaster 1975. Really? Yeah, Moonwatch. I yeah. love it. You know, the Speedmasters today are probably the best sellers. You know, at one time, Christmas last year, I got a deal. I don't know how I got it. I got 30 of them in one shot. You know how fast I sold all 30 pieces in? Moonwatches? The Speedmasters. Beautiful. One, uh, two weeks. I sold all 30 pieces. Because they're affordable, right? They're affordable. Under 10 grand. Under 10 grand. Great looking watches. They compete with any other higher end levels yeah. like the GMTs, the Submariners. So there's a watches. brand from the 70s that survived. Yeah. We actually had a funny story about the Moon Watch in one of our videos. You remember that? I remember that. Yeah. All right. What else you got? So the rest of them are going to be aftermarket straps. I do have the factory straps here as well. I just put it on for you. Yeah, well, of course. Red on red on yeah. red. So this is going to be the OG meteorite Daytona dial. Yeah, so you know, this is <laughs> this is the classic steel on steel bezel. White gold. Yes, and meteorite dial, which is meteorite. El Supremo. Yeah, but you know, at that And look time, how great it looks. And remember, this is a good make. Is this a rubber bee? Who's that's a rubber bee. Yeah, rubber bee. Yeah. So rubber bee is a Swiss, um, Arnaud is the CEO. I know him well. You know what he cares about? Integration. He See does that? such okay. a good job. Perfect integration. Such a great job. Perfect there. integration. This is what he cares about. I he, see He that. actually makes these molds. They take years to make. A perfect integration with the watch. And of course, you get the original strap and clasp. Yeah, they're one of the only companies in the world that's able to do it where you put on their original deployment. Button. All of my secondary are rubber bees. Yeah, they're great. I work with them directly and they know my whole Shark Tank thing, so we work together on every piece. If I can't get a rubber band from rubber bee, I don't wear the watch on Shark Tank. Doesn't mean I don't wear the watch, I just can't wear it on Shark Tank. That is a perfect integration. Yeah, beautiful watch. Got to hand it to them. I don't own a piece, of, I don't own any stock in them. I wish I did, <laughs> but. Royalties, royalties. Yeah, I should get some royalties. <laughs> Anyways, that's For fantastic. all the red traps they sell. Yeah, that's great. So you know what, let's do the next one. Let's do this. I've had my eye on that. What is that? This is the size piece. of this beast. This, this is, is like a GP. Big Ben. Gerard Perigo, cost and escapement movement. Wow. One of the most complicated movements Look at the ever made size by GP. Of that 47, 48? It's about a 46, 47 millimeter. That yeah. is huge. And where did this band come from? This one is a aura strap. Yeah, it's not a rubber bead. Yeah. Now, look, not that I'm against this, but you see the integration is not the same. See, there's a little space there. Not, not. I'm not against it. It's yeah. just, it's not the same. But they don't make it for this actual right. model. Right. It's just the right size. Yes, yeah. exactly. I actually have some aura straps on some APs. They're fantastic. Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, they're fantastic. They're great. Oh my goodness. That's what does it I do? Mean, this is a constant escapement movement. So what it does is it, it. Is this a skeleton? It's almost like a half skeleton. Yeah. The, the back of it, yeah, of course, it's a half skeleton. Yeah. You said that it's almost a skeleton. What's the difference between a skeleton and an open work? So, it's, this is not a skeleton, it's not open work. So an open work is gonna be where the full dial, you can see through the actual movement itself. When I say it's a little bit of a skeleton is because the bottom half of it, you can actually see the movement of the watch. And you see more from the back. Yeah, you see more so from the so back. a skeleton shows you what, as opposed to what you just described? A skeleton is gonna show you the full movement of the actual watch itself. So the, the, there's gonna be no dial to it, essentially. It's gonna be the exact movement, nothing else. There's gonna be- Got you. Yeah. Only made popular in the last 15 years. In the last 15 years, yeah. Yeah, I mean, these were not pop, they were even thought of in the days of making watches. No, Somebody that, thought it was a good yeah. idea. That's this why in the last video watch. that I was showing you guys this that, um, 1999, the 25th anniversary yeah, yeah. for the Royal Look. At that time, skeletonized dials weren't that crazy. And now crazy they're coveted popular. like crazy. Yeah. Wow. It just shows you how advanced watchmaking has become in terms of style and fashion and the look and oh, the feel. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, that's a big, it's big, a big, big, watch. big watch. You know, this watch actually retails for $100,000. Yeah. Now you talk about value, right? I'm selling for 40000 Why? So GP will always take a big, Big hit to That's it. That's a huge hit. Brand new. Yeah. Sixty percent. Sixty percent. That's why anytime you want to buy a GP, draw a pair. And this is new. Hand. This is pre-owned. Pre-owned. 
And that's because it's not a well-known brand in North It's America. not a well-known brand. But it's yeah. a like, great brand. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like great. In Europe, in Europe, it's so coveted. It's well-known. Yeah, like you go to an actual watch collector that looks at watches, they look at the movement, they look at the history, they're gonna buy a Gerard Perigo. You go up to a five-year-old kid on the street and you say, hey, do you know what a Rolex is? He's gonna know what a Rolex is. You walk up to him and say, hey, do you know what a Gerard Perigo is? He's not gonna know what a Gerard Perigo is. That's true. And that's one of the reasons why. Look at this crazy thing going on here. Get a close-up. It almost looks like a smiling face. <laughs> very nuts. Very, very nuts. Let me show you this one though, Kevin. All right. This one you're gonna go a little crazy over. This is a Piaget Polo. It's one of the thinnest like movements they made. It's actually an oversized, skeletonized minute repeater. Oh, you're wow. Minute repeater? Yeah. What a honking piece of gold. Yeah. So this is a skeletonized dial. Okay. Where you can see the actual movement. There's no dial to it. Nothing. So everything in there is part of the movement. Yep. So now pull this lever down. This is huge. Big watch. Yeah, huge watch. Hear the ding into that? <laughs> you know, it's it, it, when you do it in gold, it actually sounds better than steel sometimes. It does, yeah, you're absolutely right. So this one, there's only about 120 pieces made. Retails Price on for about that? A, it retails for quarter million dollars. We're asking 125,000. Wow, so that's incredible. Yeah. But again, these are very eclectic pieces and it actually looks good with a red band line. Yeah. I'm going to ask you gentlemen to be quiet, sir. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a minute repeater is actually probably one of the most complicated movements Absolutely. ever made in the world. I mean, many companies don't even make minute repeaters or turbulence. The heritage is the pocket watch. Is this yeah. also 46 millimeter? It's got to be, right? This is a 40, yeah, about. Big watch. Yeah. They're not exactly affordable, that's the problem. No, they're not affordable. All Piaget's are very, very expensive. And Patek makes them too. So Patek anytime you too. see a watch with one of these on the side, that's going to make That's the money, yeah. Yeah. right? AP actually makes um, a minute repeater Royal Oak. Yeah, Pigeon makes one too. They make one too, yeah. but they sell for, I mean, probably five, six hundred thousand dollars. Nope, 950,000 Swiss francs. Yeah, there you go. A million bucks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The Astronomie. The Astro yeah. You have one? No. Nope. Don't have one yet. You know, it, there's other pieces he makes that I covet more. I want the vertical tourbillon. That's my next That's one. That's beautiful. Yeah. But you know, FP Jorn is. I mean, he makes eight to nine hundred watches a year. Nine hundred and twenty this year. Yeah, and if you're actually able to acquire one of his pieces, imagine, right? How many people there are in the world? This is an FP Jorn. Yeah. Look at that. I have to ask you a quick question. Yeah. Why are you wearing two watches? Okay, New York time, LA time. Duh, I should have known that, have, duh. If you don't have two watches, how do you know what time it is in LA? That's true. I, mean, I don't even understand why people don't have two watches yeah, on. Yeah, right. And if I'm gonna start working in the UAE, I've gotta put one on my left <laughs> ankle. <laughs> <laughs> New trend. Didn't you just get a GMT? I was about to say that too. Come on. <laughs> That's not fun anymore. I wanna support you don't get to wear the so, so wait a minute, so you walk around with two watches on every day? Yeah, right now in LA, it's four o'clock. Oh, it's seven o'clock in New York. <laughs> I wouldn't know that unless I had two watches. That's true. What I love it. I love it. <laughs> what do you got you know there, what? Danny? You know what? Cheers to that. Because yeah, it's exactly, 7 o'clock exactly. in New York, so we should you realize If everybody thought like that, your business would double Yeah, that's yeah. why he's cheersing. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that. Right? Cheers to everybody. Out why to wear them, right? <laughs> yeah. He wears shorts, ankles. <laughs> so next up, this is an Alonga one, but this is going to be a little bit different than a normal Alonga one. This is going to be in platinum. So Alonga. Lange, some people call it, German maker, known for the beauty of his style, the simplicity of his style, the watch clock tower look is rocketing now. Oh, new CEO, Mr. Wonderful. New, new CEO, new CEO. Mr. Wonderful, you cost me a lot of money. Why? How'd that happen? When we did our last video, yeah. you had your sight book. Now this piece is a digital watch with an incredibly complex movement. Wait, wait, wait. Digital? No, digital in the sense that it's digits. Oh, 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 I see, Completely yes. mechanical. Mechanical, Which okay. is incredibly hard to do. This is a, a manual wind watch, and you know, on the outer rim, you can see it also has the day of the month. So there's a lot going on in here, power supply, second hand, et cetera. But again, a completely different look for a dial. That's a beautiful, is, is, beautiful is watch. I, I fell in love with it. And you had to go buy one. This guy here. You bought one for me. Is that 120 yeah. grand? I mean, come on, that dial's so crazy. Oh, right? it's stunning. He I got the hour one with the hour striker. But then they brought the Odysseus out. What's that? It was, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Oh, we're going to see it later. Huh? I have. <laughs> I mean, look, this is beautiful. It's stunning. I mean, simple, classy, 
elegant, has a big date window. I mean, I mean, it's red heavy band, too. Red band on this is beautiful too. It, it really dressed it up, I yeah, swear. Yeah. When I when it was on the black band, beautiful piece. It didn't look the same, now it pops. Now it pops. That's why red is hot. Yeah. That's why. Gorgeous piece. Yeah, it's fantastic. How now much is this? This is about 45,000. And secondary? Second, no, it's, the retail is about thirty nine thousand. We're selling it for forty five. So, so they're, they're going so over. So for years, they didn't appreciate. They did not appreciate. They are. they are appreciating because they make very few watches. I think Alonga is what thirty five hundred watches a year. Yeah. yeah. So the one but, I bought from you, did it go up? It did. It did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. It did. And also, Ooh. that's a crazy piece. Yeah. It's a crazy it's piece. A, because yeah. Michael, that's one of those pieces where it's like, go find it. Right. Can't find right? it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Go. Go get. Find. Go find me another one for sale. There might be one available for sale, but. You know, they're going to ask an astronomical number, right? And another thing that he did for me that was amazing, uh, when I bought it, it had a Tang buckle yeah. and I wanted a deployment and somehow he contacted Langer and the next thing, well, FedEx arrives. Langer, Langer cares about their collectors. They, they care do. A lot. They do. They're a very, very good company. Yeah. They care about their collectors. But, They'll but take care know, of them. But you know, Langer, one of the things about it that people don't know, they assemble the watch twice. Really? I did not know that, actually. Yeah. They build it, they test it, and they build it again. Why? Really? Yeah, because they're crazy. Yeah. But if it worked the first time, <laughs> no, because, would it improve because, the second time they, is the question. They just, they're so, the Odysseus I have has been built twice. Really? Tested twice. Love That's it. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. These are but the things you learn nice, on yeah. the videos. Yes, but the Odysseus is a stunning watch and that's going like skyrocket right now. In Started value. in steel, went, then went, went yeah. to white gold. So I said, look, I have to have a red band. He said, we can't put a red band on steel. I said, I can't own it. <laughs> he said, let me figure this out. Yeah. And they put it on the white gold. And I have the Odysseus with factory red band. I really? Think I'm the only one in the world. It's, it is, when I wear that watch around, people say, what is that? Yeah, because you know, a lot of people don't realize, but these companies, when they make these colorful straps, it has to fit the exact lug width. Hard. So if they don't make it, yeah. it doesn't come because it's the lug width of the watch and the buckle. Yeah. And they're all different. But think about it, it's worth it. 100 million people see Shark Tank in syndication a year. Yes. And they're gonna see, and, and the, the whole thing is with the grasshoppers beside me, they don't have watches on, I do. And people are trying to guess what I'm wearing for each yeah. show. So I bring these red bands on and I have a, it's great to, to introduce people to these yeah. ideas. I mean, I'm telling you, this customer bought this watch, ordered this band, waited four months for it from Paddock because of you, because of Shark Tank. Well, that is a fantastic yeah. piece. Royalty. Yeah, I should get royalty. royalty, right? You're absolutely yeah. right. I love how thin that is. It's yeah. just. That is the classic protect that people forgot they made. Yes. This is like from the 60s, this look. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right, what else we got? We got one more? We got one more. So we got the Paddock 5164 Aquanaut. Yeah, so Aquanaut back to sports, can't go wrong, beautiful. gentle look, yes. black dial on this one? This is a brown dial. Brown dial. So rose gold is gonna be in the brown dial. The stainless steel is going to be in the black dial. It looks spectacular. That's with the red gorgeous. Band. With the red band, yeah. it is made that it pop. Factory? This no, it's a it's a rubber B. Yeah, they do it for this piece. Again, look at the integration. Yeah. it's insane. Let me see that. See when I say it's a factory, because you can't tell. You can't tell. I was right about to say rubber, that. Rubber Everything B. about it is yeah. a factory. Look at the integration with it. The, their whole deal is like the integration. It fits so perfectly that you yeah. almost can't even tell. Like even when I got it. I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to look good, you know, or if it's going to fit right. Yeah. I mean, it, it also, literally. It also integrates into the class. Yeah. So you're getting, and you keep your original band, but you've got something stylish, and they do multiple colors. They Is this one colors. that you cut? You have to cut it. Yeah. So they do the same exact way as them. But you got to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, you get sizing. it wrong, you're in and big you got, when, trouble. When you're cutting a band, remember the summer, your wrist swells. Yeah. Leave one extra link for the winter. You have to. Versus summer. You have to. Yeah. But these ones I always get so nervous. Always towards the end I start cutting one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. always one at a time. And from each side, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But tell me how pretty this watch is. This it's is one of beautiful. my favorite ones from the Aquanaut. Actually from any paddock. I'm a, I am like rubber straps. Another Genta style, remember? From how 70s? much is this guy? This one is about 100 grand. And this is pretty old. Trading and the price? list on it? The list on it is about 65 to 67,000. Yeah, you see, you never go wrong with a Patek. But again, when you see that watch 20 yards away, oh, it's a Patek, it's a Genta, it's a you know, sports piece. Imagine how, if you're Patek, you're saying, what about all my vintage stuff? Yeah, that's true. You're right, you're absolutely and right. And everybody's talking about this. Yeah, everybody's For the like, last 10 years. Yeah, everybody wants the newer items. It started with the 5711 and it never turned around. No. Never turned around. Gorgeous no. piece, gorgeous piece. Yeah. Well, uh, well, 
I can't thank you enough for, for bringing these pieces. Oh, it's a pleasure. This has been a lot of fun. Very educational. Very Absolutely. educational. And just shows you red is red is red. Go with red. Yes. Always go with red. When in doubt, red is your band. Yes. You know what? In all sincerity, every one of these looks fantastic. Yes. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Honestly. It really, really, really does. Really dress it up. Even when I was coming over here, I opened up the box. I was like, whoa. This is, it, it looks I good. I like to think it I pops. started a trend and it's sweeping the watch world. Thank you very much, Mr. Wonderful here. A yeah. uh, 7% royalty, please. Anybody that's a red man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Danny, thank you for bringing these amazing pieces. Kevin, so much fun as Michael, always. Danny, it was, it was amazing. It was a pleasure. Thank you. thank you. Guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow Kevin, follow, follow Danny. All the information will be in the description and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.